swearing. <laughs> no swearing. I've turned the sound on. No swearing. No swearing. No swearing. Oh my goodness. Oh, good afternoon. Oh, you sweethearts. You have waited for us. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, just, you just never know. You just never know. Emma and I, we ran around, ran around, ran around all morning. And then we had, for oh, M 20 minutes to spare. Yep. And we went, oh, and it was all set up. It was all gorgeous. We went and popped the lippy on and got a glass of water and came back. Nothing. The, uh, it had left, it had left the building. Everything that's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything had left the building. So, I haven't even got my necklace on. Um, you are today, for the first time ever, you're hot spotted. And that sounds a lot more exciting than it actually is, but you're, you're actually hot spotted to my, to my, to my phone. So I can't walk off with my phone. Um, if I do, I will bring everything crashing down. <laughs> Crashing down. Emmy, they all waited. I hope they got a cup of tea. Did you all get a cup of tea? Oh, no, we need more than tea. Emma, that coffee liqueur. <laughs> Just getting we, out anyway. We joked about having a, a, about a, having an espresso martini. Good afternoon, Sue McGee. Good afternoon, Kathy and Jackie. Sylvia, hello, Cheryl, Linda. It's a couple of the girls. So Sharon Kay said, it's fine, Liz going anywhere anyway so whenever you're whenever you're free that was a classic um and a few others made a few lovely notes that you were just had lovely had an extra 15 minutes to make a cup of coffee it was supposed to be five minutes heavens i'm glad we've actually got the show organized um good afternoon cheryl and linda and nancy cook here's too hello Rhonda barry um our rosemary's here I have, I have notes for people. So, M, yeah. you know, <laughs> ah, Yvonne's here. So, so Yvonne Chapman sent me a very nice little note that wasn't very rude. <laughs> but, um, you know how, did you know I couldn't find my copy of Rachel Daisy's cushion? Your copy? Okay. My copy of the pattern that I made mine on holidays with. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, found it. Right. That's at Yvonne's. <laughs> How? Well, I don't know what happened. But somehow, Yvonne's ended up with my copy in her order. Right. So, you know, she wrote this very, um, Lisa, is there supposed to be, like, pencil markings in my uh, pattern? She was very polite about it, so I'll be whizzing off another copy to Yvonne this afternoon. Uh, and someone's orders on the way with out their shadow play. Um, I have oh, to fuck. <laughs> See, Steve has only been missing for 48 hours. Kathy, Lynn, and Tina are here, and Michelle Fish is here. Yay! I still have not made my chutney, Michelle. Um, my tomatoes are looking at me on the kitchen sink, going, "Lisa, tomorrow or never, or we're just going to curl up and die." So. Uh, no, I'm going to run the dehydrator tonight, aren't I? We've decided I'm going to run it overnight. Yes. And I have been eating Michelle Fisher's uh, tomato chutney on cheese a lot. Hello, Kerry Lee and Nancy. Good afternoon. Mel's here too. Oh, Mel got a nice order this week. Vicky, hello. Hello, Christine. Christine, we managed not to send you a Be Mindful pack this month, but only by the skin of our teeth. So we are in... We're improving each month. Christine ended up on the wrong, on an extra club membership by mistake. Oops. Hello, Pauline. Pauline, are you okay? And we need to send all of our bestest dry out wishes to all of our friends in Queensland. I was actually going to do a little bit of an, um, she is there. It's not my imaginary friend, Emma. She is out there cutting at the moment. Um, I, it was going to go through um, the website and look for girls that, <laughs> that live in Gympie and, you know, all up there, and they're all getting very, very wet. Hello, Karen Carter in KL. Hey, it's pff, humidity today rivals Kuala Lumpur here. Um, Cindy, hello. Now, Cindy, you stay dry. It's raining in Yeovil, so stay dry. Oh, Rosemary had time to go pick her strawberries. Oh, good. Before the birds get them. Yes, before the birds get them. I've just about given up on... 
you haven't seen I'm not showing you that garden um hello Jill <laughs> Joe's here too oh everyone's here Susan banks of the Red River oh so Suzanne Fair is on the banks of the Edward River in in Denny in yeah. <laughs> let's hope so Lorraine are you all reading what everyone's writing? It's all very nice. It's all very, very nice and funny and good. Hello, hello, Jenny. Hello from a week in, how do you say that? Is that Manum stitching my Warita? Where's Manum? I can't cut four inches out of this. Oh, there's more on the shelf. I've just found it. I shot changed Emma. She's cutting a brand new essential applique pack which I'll be showing you Thursday evening is the plan <laughs> yeah you do have it Yvonne you absolutely do you are you are worth oh turn your back oh, I thought Joy was talking about my hair but she means you turn the back there are gremlins here Emmy's got you've got gremlins at your house too don't you I do what doesn't work the remote can Garage remote control. The garage remote control and the batteries are the batteries are flattening fast. The um, Wi-Fi Ooh. in the back room, the which has its own booster, the um, cordless doorbell, mm. and um, proximity keys for cars if you park in my driveway. Oh. So she's got she's got real gremlins. Sharon got chutney from her son in Canberra. This is a very important thing. Uh, everyone should get chutney. Oh, are you sure, Yvonne? Because, you know, uh, you, should, you should receive a, a special freebie in the mail for getting my scribbled on pattern. But it comes with love from a lovely place called Port Campbell, I probably wrote on that. Good afternoon, Judy, Jenny. Joy, you did get your last order in record time. And Nance, I just saw your message as well. Um, it's in the mail. So I haven't received my Be Mindful. They left here yesterday morning. I think we have to wait right till the end of the month and then we, and it's a weird month, of course. Fiona's here. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, are you dry, Janine? I'm worried about everyone north of the Victorian border being dry. Barb Clifford's here. Did you get your note from Cass about your AQ, your Quiltus Life membership? I hope so. You're okay, Nancy. Great. Cheryl, everyone's here. Um, what do I need to say? What do I need to say next? Oh, yes, today's show. So you remember last week I had a very uh, colourful, colour-coordinated ram rainbow set. Not today. Today it's a little, it's a bit of a bibs and bobs set, but... I heard you say dog's breakfast this morning. I may have said dog's breakfast. I'm now using Natasha's term bits and bobs. Do you like the 80s hair? Remember in the 80s, Emma, it used to be cool to leave your hair wet with the gel in it? <laughs> hey, I didn't I didn't think I was going to be ready in time, and it is so humid it would have done this whether I blow-dried it or not. That's how the curly girl technique works. It's the curly girl. <laughs> That's Sarah. No, Matilda originally. Oh, yeah, Matilda. So if this beautiful seven berry cotton drill fabric we had last year and in terms of the stats are in terms of how quickly something sold out it's it's way up there with those um trail life panels kits that we did so we had to wait a very long time to get it back in i think it, it's been i don't know it came through with another very very special thing that i've had printed for us um, in France actually that you'll be seeing in the next couple of weeks but this is back so I've tagged it for today a lot of you wanted it do you remember we did the we appliqued ombres in um, to the leaves and things so now that it's back if there is some left for me <laughs> I would really like some I should nick what I want now so I can go back and play with that technique again so that's back up I have tagged everything for today there was a panic because Stephen had left the building. I had to ring him um, and say, what did you do to my banner app? But it's all fixed. So you can pop it in the top. And it's also the word autumn. So if you put the word autumn into the search window, it'll bring everything up. I will be doing Be Mindful again, Karen. Um, 
No, no, nothing's been over... It hasn't been overlooked. Really what's happened with Be Mindful is we did want to start it uh, in February and it, and it just didn't happen. I need to get the girls that started February applique sampler out the door this month and then be well on the way to cutting month 12 um, because it's just a, it is literally a workload I don't I, when we start I really want to start and do it properly uh, so we are going to run it again but also I need to hold back just a little bit I should have told you anyway but it is happening in terms of fabric because we did chew through most of the fabric that we had so we're having to do just just we're just matching up Hoffman batiks instead of the original AU ones that came through in the recommendation from Michelle so we're just waiting on a couple of those because um, we'll be doing a short sharp membership in fact I'll probably hang we need to hang that quilt next weekend be yeah we'll pop up be mindful again next week um, the way it's going to work this time is you're going to email in that you want to do it I'm sure I've got your name down and uh, we'll just be uh, putting everyone's details in for you so everyone pays on the same day and it goes out the day after because of the way we did it this time it kind of works but it's a little bit a little bit complicated just a little bit complicated Denise ooh, I did a nice order for Denise lentil this morning that was very nice in in my tracky tracky Tuesday morning all right so yes we will be doing be mindful so this is back in this Emma and I today we're sort of setting up to do you a couple of little demos with some of those fabrics that I showed you last week and a couple of new ones as well so this is one of the new this is our new printed cork that I've put online today if you've had a little bit of a sneak peek look at that so this is rather beautiful um, these flowers the scale for you these are, hang on, let me have a look at the board. They're sort of, these big guys are big, about two and a half inches across. It, it's just, it is a lovely size scale print. It reminds me in terms of scale uh, to my Summer Palace floral. That's probably about the size of it. So it's beautiful Sally Tomato, um, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Emma, are you a tomato or a tomato? I'm an Australian, so yeah. it's a tomato. Tomato. <laughs> but Sally's not, so it's tomato. This is Sally tomato, so it's beautiful quality. It's got that lovely suede finished on the back. Um, Emma asked me this morning, what needle? And I said, no, nope, girls, no, you don't need a special needle. You just need a good needle, but you don't need a special needle for it. So that's up at the same as our other corks, and it sells in 10 centimetre increments. This little bag that we're doing, going to sort of show you the whole design process and how to assemble it today, has been done with 30 centimetres of cork. So we're just going to take you through the little... Oh, Emmy's got... Ha! Do you want to see Emma's new glasses? They're in the <laughs> These are... Because Emma has to wear glasses now. Sorry. Oh, I've got to go pick up my other ones too. Excuse so me, I did get to 50 before <laughs> I needed glasses. Hola, 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 hola. Yeah, vale, vale. Yeah, see, 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 off you go. <laughs> sure. All right. So, uh, I'm just going to show you how to do these funky little handles. So, and look. Oh, she's got her gorgeous little buzzy bee stitchery on there too. So we're doing all of this today with that cork. Um, and you need 30 centimetres of the cork to do it. And what I'm actually doing, if you grab 30 centimetres, I'm also going to pop in for you, because we debated about this, didn't we? We We know the cork's not cheap. So I'm, I'm popping in for you. If you buy the 30 centimetres, I'll know what you're up to. And I'm popping in 25 centimetres of this. Now, if you can see, did you call this a velour? A velour? I think it's because it doesn't have the... The, um, it's a suede. It's, it's like suede. a polyester. It's suede. It's suede. Yep. It, it doesn't have a bile, than a real spray. and it doesn't really have a nap. So it's so not, it's not a velvet. It's not a. Anyway, it's yum. The girls and I have played with this before, though. But I'll pop in twenty centimeters, twenty five centimeters of this, and then you're good to go. So that's what we're going to do, and then um, Em's going to show you. 
the uh, the handles and the embroidery and then I'm going to just start you off on a lovely little journey that I love to take about designing a little wraparound bag. So that's up. Now also this is a little bit of a did you know segment too because these are up on our website but I don't know if you, you may, you're a busy person, you may not have time to have a look but did you know we have got beautiful, wonderful pearl threads and these colours are have been brought in to start us kick off a lovely collection we will build up of these as you can see to go with the clock so there's uh, a couple of different ones I've tagged the ones um, under the banner that go with the cork okay so you'll be able to find those hello Debbie are you dry please tell me you're dry Oh, yes, 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 exactly right, Karen. Get that finished. Get, oh, never mind you finishing it. I need to finish it. <gasps> Hello, Gail. I don't think I've seen you for ages. I can see you there. It's lovely to see you. Not everyone gets to watch live, though, see, and I don't get to see who watches later on. I'm going to pop this back up for a minute. Um, em and I were... No. Em and I were having a look through to see what would work really well with the cork for the lining. And, you know, we just like to... We like to let you know. And I do, I get so much pleasure out of filling orders and I can see, I can see your thought process that you, you have gone through and had a look and, at what I've said and then you've gone off and found things that all match up and I, it's an absolute pleasure. It is just really, really nice. So as for that, this is Q4. So I've tagged this beautiful shadow play and as you can see, that is a winner. Now this cork is going to go with black all day long because it's all highlighted in black. But we found this would be gorgeous as a contrast as well for something different or maybe for the lining. And then the other two that we've still got a bit of left, not so much of the green, but we have got the red, uh, are our stamped out, what is it called? Stamped? Stamped, stamped leather. Stamped leather. Pressed. Pressed. Stamped. Okay. So you can see this is a perfect match. All right, so either that one or the red. You could run the red as well. The red is a lot brighter, Em. It's not as good as the green. All right. Yeah. It'd work, but that's that's pretty good. We we shied away. Um, we shied away from metallics because there's no metallic in the cork. But one of the ones that I found pleasantly surprising does actually go is this one. So that's that. Remember the Imperial Collection we've got in stock? It's just because it's going towards that. Oh, Michelle, here come the planes. Same time as last week. <laughs> um, and do you know Christine Davies M? Mm -hmm. So I said to Michelle, planes are coming over and Michelle got them five minutes later. And now I was speaking to Christine Dav Davy, and she got them five minutes before. Oh. So there you go. Yes, we're on the flight. We're on the flight plan. So it's that corally pink colour. And look, this does go. The other thing, of course, you can do is if you don't want to use a lot of the printed cork, entirely up to you. The natural cork is the same colour as the natural colour in that print. So if you've got a little bit of natural left over, you could do a bit of a mix and match and put them together. It would all work. So this is why the stand is a dog's breakfast. Oh, uh, did you or did you not see? Or oh, you may not have seen. We've got, I did a new Liberty pack. I think it was on the weekend. Uh, which I've been meaning to do for ages. I didn't get it done for more well. But, um, oh, M. Sorry. The, 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 look at this. We did not go to the Liberty shelf. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello in here, kind of hello for lining. Or oh, this I one. like the dark one. Oh. oh. Hey, that's not bad, is it? Sorry. This is. Just having a moment. Sorry, had a moment. This is our new Wiltshire Liberty pack. So. We've now got enough in stock that I was able to come through 
uh, and put this together. And I have just seen on the shop, I haven't forgotten, I need to draw out two winners for our um, door prizes for this week or from last week. So while Em's chatting to you, let's go this way. While Em's chatting to you, I will go and set that up. There we go. Oh, you might need to use my phone to find a random number generator. <gasps> oh, yes. Don't take your phone. Don't take my phone. There we go. You know what I love, though? I ring my husband in the middle of what I know is a very, very important audit day <laughs> um, with one of his suppliers. Sorry, one of his customers that he supplies. So, you know, he'll be in the middle of walking around with people in white lab coats and shouting them lunch and I'm ringing going, there's no internet. Anyway, he very calmly kept saying, so I'll leave that with you now. <laughs> All right, so there you go. You get um, a heap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven fat eights comes in at about $37.50, I think, somewhere there, and it's on special at the moment at $32.50. So it's just a lovely way. I think I wrote it in there that you can build up a little bit of a collection of planed or tonal liberties so that when you um, when you do pull out a feature liberty, you've got that little bit of contra tonal contrast sitting there ready to use because they are liberties. You don't necessarily need a lot of them, or you can if you want to. I don't know what Ruthie's doing with her liberties. We're going to need to see a photo soon. Stashing. Sorry? Stashing. Stashing. Oh, I think she's making something. It's, it, sometimes it gets frustrating because you can see a pattern with what people are buying and you sort of go, what are they doing? What are they doing with it? Jill orange? Yeah, we don't know what Jill's doing with her Fargo either. I need to know. Oh, and we I popped these up. Uh, and I have I put these up on the weekend. Deb says it's extremely hot in northern Queensland. It would be. It would be. If you need a present for the Liberty Lover in your life, I have one left. So we I put this up on the weekend. I have one. One. There's one. Um, should I have put one away for Kaylee's birthday? I was thinking that maybe you had, and that was the, the one left up. No, no, I've ma no, but I've made her something with Liberty for her birthday. Oh, I hope she doesn't watch now. This is... Don't give her the book. I'm not giving her the book. So, this beautiful thing, they are hard-covered. They come in a box. Uh, if you don't want to go and have a look, it's forty two fifty. But just if you have a lo Liberty lover that would like... Something just got It even smells good. <laughs> oh, you know how, oh, did you see that photo? Go back, go back, go back. I am going to try and... I don't know if I can get any more. I kind of commandeered these literally out of the back of Kate's van. I spotted them when she dropped off supplies the other day. And I said, hello, what is that? And she would only part with a few. But that's the last one. Right, so I'm going to pop that back preciously in there. I had to unwrap it, but I will rewrap it so I could show you inside. Um, so, we went through quite a lot of the, as I expected, of the collage fabrics, and we do hope to get a lot of them back. I'm just going to keep talking because Emma's cutting me out of the game back. So, oh, I don't that's... like you. Because <laughs> I'll have to take over when I go out there. So, all of these guys that we had on last week, um, we are out of purple at the moment. So the, the second the second that Emma went a little bit... Oh, Sharon Keys has got a helicopter now over Keysy. <laughs> what did you do, Sharon? What did you do? They will find you. Um, the second that we got our hands on them, I immediately rang our supplier here in Australia and said, please, 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 please try and get us some more. My children over this. Yeah, so he's hoping to, uh, we're hoping to get some air freighted in from us from um, a secondary warehouse in the US. So we're hope we're like this. So we're out of purple at the moment, but uh, we'll hopefully have some more. So what I've done in the meantime is, based on the bag that we're doing today as well, 
we have done some pre-cut packs of 25 centimeter cuts I didn't want to do that to start with because I didn't know what people are going to do with them and I, you know will I cut it up or will I keep it so now we've sort of let everyone have a bit of a bite um, there are 25 centimeter packs available I just wanted to I just wanted to show you this as well I popped my oh, wrong one I popped my babies up today because couldn't help myself and they're a little bit special make the most of the special on these because I'm about to start wholesaling again and I can't be naughty and put my own fabrics on special okay so see they go I'm quite happy with that and the green goes too what see you can do that you good for you could lining Emma the big Melba tote M yeah. with the Melbourne tote, the free download on the website. Yeah, what are we, what are we outside in? Well, if you used the green or the orange, you could put the ivory butterflies inside. Cute. Yes. Yeah. Right. So this is the. Hope you do better with the cameras today than me. <laughs> so this is the pack. So you've got 25 centimeters of each. Fold that out. There you go. So you've got pink, blue, green, yellow, orange, and the red. Um, we haven't tagged them all individually today. You'll see that the red one has been because we are um, using that in a bag that we're doing today. But you'll find the all others there under uh, under collage. Uh, yes, Nancy Cook. The red is gorgeous. You've forgotten. You're actually starting this bag so that you can then run away and I can go on with the handles. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's just a ploy to get them packed off as well, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, no. Not at all, Em. 35 to go. I'm halfway there. Because my arm doesn't work anymore. The yellow is sitting here and back in stock timely after the most iconic birthday party themed birthday party on Sunday that I went to thanks just saying from the Queen Bee who had a bee party and everything was fuzzy bees I had to be can, can I can I may I please can I may I please tell the girls how you make chocolate did you know how to make chocolate honeycomb you, I, I didn't Would you like me to bring my phone with a picture? Uh, yes, but also bring what you made to make the honeycomb. It's not where it was last week. Is it, it's under the tables. Okay. Buzzy bees are back. And I um, thought if you wanted to use the buzzy bees and make some honeycomb with your English paper piecing hexagons we have the perfect ombre which is SA which I've tagged today as well so did you find it yeah I didn't I didn't know this oh and also with this with this with this bees uh, we've got this little bolt that's just been here a while it was we brought it in for Christmas and it's got beautiful little embossed leaves on it you can't quite see it's frosted it's a white it's frosting, frost isn't it's it yeah it was part of the essence range anyway if you buy a meter of this I'm putting in 25 centimeters of this if you if you need to fuzzy be now we're going to make a bag in a minute do you, do you want it? yeah 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 can, Show you, the can you do that to a camera I think so well there's one way to find out so if I hold that up, oh, it's a bit dark. It's no, too dark. It's too dark. Need, let me find, see if I can find you the other one that's got a bit of light on it. Okay. This is what you use to make honeycomb. This was a whole craft and cook show in the making. Of it. <laughs> it was. Right, there's two film. Just can't work out how to get them edited and up. I'm going to drink the cake. Can you, if I zoom that way, is that better? Because it's lighter. Uh-huh. All right, so explain this. Okay, can you can you do it? Oh, no. Can you see yep, that? Cake? Yes, there the, you go. That is a cake. That's the honeycomb, the honeycomb on the top, but it's not honeycomb, it's chocolate. 
It's chocolate. And how do you shake that chocolate, Miss Emma? Do you want the, uh, the quick demo? You I do. the oven tray. Yeah. And you take a piece of fresh bubble wrap and you lay it in your oven tray. But can you see me? Yes, you can see me. Yeah. You lay that in your oven tray. You may put the overhead on if you so wish, jellyfish. Oh, I don't know whether you'll be able to see the plastic quite so much. Okay. And then you melt your white chocolate very carefully because white chocolate has a tendency to go Cause you happy, know it's happy, happy, happy. Not not happy. It's, not really it's not chocolate. It's not really chocolate. It's just sugar and yeah. Anyway, and then you spread your white chocolate onto the bumpy side, not the smooth side, but the side that's got the bumpy bumps on it. And then you take that and you pop it in the. You take that because you can't see me, and you pop it in the freezer. And then you just and you let it. You, then Do you have to oil this. Then? Nope. No. Nope, no. Nope, no. Nope. And then you just peel it. But you peel it. It's kind of like make it covering books. You peel it back onto itself, kind of like that, mm -hmm. as opposed to just, you just do it gently and carefully and you get chocolate honeycomb and you can break it up into bits and stick it in the top of your cupcake frosting or you can make it look like a whole beehive with it on the outside. I'm really annoyed because I was really good because I was so OD'd on, sh we were all going into a sugar coma. Sugar coma did happen. And, and I said to Emma, don't bring any of the leftovers. So I didn't. Now I'm really regretting it. Okay. This is my last little show and tell. This is my, you know, of new stuff. And then we're then I then we really, really need to get started because we started late. This is our new collection of fairy frost. So I have put together a pack of fat eights for you as well because this is just another of those fabrics that's really really handy to have I could do a whole segment for you on how and when to use fairy frost and the do's and don'ts with fairy frost um, and that may that may actually have to happen at some stage but where you need a little bit of a highlight a little bit of a reflection on landscapes you know I've used this for a long long time and the exciting thing always is when they bring out new colors so this is jewel beautiful minty green um, and you've got your classics you've got avocado glass periwinkle oh crocus is back in stock haven't had crocus forever it's next here next to periwinkle lemon delilic so all of those are in and then this is the other new one which is geranium okay so this is uh, now up and I've popped it up at a little little special for you Six, ten, twelve. That one is not supposed to be there. Sorry, that one's out because I've only got about a meter left and I wanted to have enough out. So you get two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, but you get it for the price of ten. There you go. I had orchid in there, Emmy. Oops. Oops. And, we, and I don't know what happened, but we only have about a meter left, so I wouldn't do that because I don't like to put new things up. See, I just want to play with it. This is so geranium, such a great name for it. So that little, it's a little bit of loveliness. It is different to, what you took to uh, yeah, it's different to what I took to Morwell. So put that back there for you. And um, that had, it had gold and amber and champagne and natural in it. Um, I didn't want to go the whole thing because usually if you're using gold, if you're using amber, if you are using those more neutral colours, you, you wouldn't necessarily want a small bit anyway. Whose birthday is it? What did I miss? Barb Lawrence. Happy birthday. Barb's 21 today. Oh, she's two years younger than me. <laughs> she's two years younger than you. You're so funny. Happy birthday, Barb. I can't believe Barb's actually that age. It just shows how long I've known her. Oh, gorgeous. And she's been out for high tea. Oh. Kathy, it's fine that you're late because you know what? We were late too. That's absolutely fine. All right. What we want to do is get you bag making again this week with the wraparound base and sides technique. This is one of the six six iconic assembly techniques to make a bag this one it's called a wraparound base and sides because you sew your panels on and they go and wrap around the end of the base 
and there is a side seam that comes up here. Very, very easy to do. The trick is, though, you've got to get the dimensions right. Emma, where are my dimensions? Do I get dimensions? Yes, in the little white tub that's on the floor. Oh, oh, can, you, oh can you pick it up for me so the girls don't need to see my tush up in the air? Thanks, love. I'll take away this all. So, oh, there's notes of what we're doing next week in here too. That's right, don't forget to put Be Mindful as a back trouser on. No, 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 I need to do that. So, this is our very technical notes for today. And I know that looks really unprofessional, but this is where I want to get you to, so that you too can just wing it and make yourself up a bag in dimensions that you need. These are my leftovers in this tub, yeah? Yes. Right. So, I'm going to draw this up for you on graph paper. Emma picked up today that my graph paper that I usually use on a square pad has changed over. Petra! Oh, Petra's mum turned 90. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Petra, I have made one batch of the Waratah biscuits. They were great, and uh, because they were great, there's none left. So I do need to make them for next week's show so I can show them all to you. All right. What we decided to do today was make a bag that is quite small. And I'll be honest, it was working around the width of the cork because the cork's not normal width. So we really wanted to come up with a bag that would fit across the width of this cork. Because the cork is 27. So that sounds about right. About 27 inches across. So this is where it comes in really handy to work out how to do your own bags. We knew, therefore, that, you know, we needed to fit a base and across the rest of it, we wanted to get both of the widths of the panels that were going on our bag. So that's what we did. We sat, we messed around with it. What we came up with is, Em, yeah. can I have a Sharpie? I knew the set was too clean. Moment, please. Sorry, we're just interrupting her cutting applique essential packs. I'm packing Are we going to get to see one of these so-called packs eventually? You're releasing them on the next show. Are you know. Do you want to see? This is sneak. Um, so we came up with these measurements that would allow us to get, like if this is my whole width of my cork, I needed to be able to take a piece off the end to use for my base. And then the rest of it, I had to get two widths for the side. So we, we had a little bit of a play around. The measurements that we came up with was that we would have a base that is two inches deep and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide. That is our base. So that is that across there. Now, what that actually means is that if this is two, and those of you, you know, the soft cell has to fit in somewhere, those of you who've got this, the formula's laid out in the Bag Design Basics book too. So, and this is nine. So that means when I come to put panels onto this, my panel has to, I'm just going to put a little dotted line so you get the idea, it has to sew right along the wide edge of the base, and then it has to come round and meet halfway on each side. So to get this whole measurement working, all you have to do is add these two up, so it's 11, and then after that, not before, after, do you like that? So not before, it's got my school teacher voice on, you add on your half an inch for your seam allowances on each end. If you want to understand more about this, it's going to travel nine this way and then it's going to stop halfway on one side and half on the other. So this is actually nine plus one plus one. But, 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 it is just the same. If you add up the long side and the short side dimension, it's the same. You get 11 and add your half an inch. So that means that these panels here 
we're going to cut them 11 and a half wide. And then our base here, we do need to add on our seam allowances. So this is cut two and a half and this is cut nine and a half. So that's what we did. That's actually how they're cut out. How high you want them is going to be up to you. So we decided to keep it nice and simple for today and we decided to say, well, if they're 11 and a half inches wide, we're going to make them 11 and a half inches tall. So we're just cutting squares if we are just doing our lining. But then what we did, we mixed it up a bit so that one of the bags, well, this bag that Emma's actually done, I'll just come back to this and show you. So now that we know these are our dimensions, we could actually come back and go, well, how do we, how do we want to make up? If I just roughly draw this for you, how do we want to make up this little finished 11 inch square? So we actually mixed it up. So we said, okay, let's go three and eight. And on this particular bag, I'm going to turn it upside down because this is our three and this is our eight. So I've got the black up here and for the three inch and the eight down here. So when we cut these, our pieces are, remember, they're 11 and a half wide. Such a maths lesson. And um, they're going to be wide and then eight and a half tall. Remember to add that seam allowance on. And down here, 11 and a half width times three and a half high. So that's what we did for this, but it's up the other way. Okay? Then the one that I've got cut out to show you, I say I said that I've got cut out, that Emma cut out for me while I was running around like a chop, is here. And this one sits the other way. So, yes. So this one has got the three inch down the bottom and the eight inch up the top. So you can turn it all around, have a great time with it. I mean, we've chosen to do uh, to, to piece horizontally today because we've got this great cork to play with. And also I've popped up for you some vinyl, some black vinyl to play with as well. I actually put a note on it that we just couldn't get a good picture because it's so lovely and shiny. Was it nice to piece with them? Yes, but ironing is a little bit... Oh, we're not ironing, are we? Ironing scary. Ironing is... We're not ironing. We're going to glue. It shouldn't really need ironing. Oh, I need to attach it to the batting, yeah? Yeah, and the seam at the join, where you contrast it. So you just got to be... A, don't hit it with a hot iron. Definitely use pressing cloth or... Uh, pressing cloth. Or right, yes. Yeah, so... Like if we were doing satin or organza or something. That. So anyway, that's, let me go back. So see, same panel, just upside down. So this is eight or eight and a half cut, and this one is three or three and a half cut. All right, so that's done. And Emma has very kindly cut me out one of the bases as well to work with. And over here, we've got the other piece. So you can see, this is these two that I'm going to piece just to finish this off. Now we haven't gone to town with top stitching or anything just to show you this today. We've uh, just pressed it up, but you can top stitch, you know, all of these seams if you want to. And as I, sorry, as I was just saying, we've gone horizontal, but there's no reason why you couldn't have a whole heap of strips of what you've got left over from other projects all put together, um, either for the lining or for the outside, whatever you've got to work with. If you've worked with no pin tucks before, if you've got a piping foot, you could piece, put covered piping in between, um, plain fabric, ribbon. I just want to sew now. <laughs> or, or just use selvages if you've got your name on them. Go away. <laughs> Cheer that. I, I keep forgetting to collect. I really must collect. Can I have a skirt next time? You'll need to cut deeper selvages. Huh. Thought she was going to say no. <laughs> oh, oh did I tell you what I've made Leanne for her birthday? No, she might be watching. Oh, yeah, don't tell. I'll tell you after. Okay, tell me after. 
I, I do have a compact Nancy though. Cook does love top stitching on a bag, just so you know. Yep. It's out there. You can have a skirt for a Barbie. A Barbie doll. What do you mean a skirt for a Barbie doll? Made oh, out of selvages. <laughs> Maybe Miss Jenny would like a coat. Not. <laughs> where is the where's the fluff ball? She's gone AWOL. It's hot. She's probably somewhere. I know where she is. She's up on the lounge room chair. Okay, so let's, shall we do this? We'll put this together. So, um, pins, please, am I pinning or am I clipping? clipping? I'm what? You're clipping. Even to go around the corner? But which, where, who, huh? Oh, I just clipped. Which corner? i got to go around the corner. i got to go around the, around the corner. You don't go around the corner. That's not how you put that bag together. Yeah, it is. I'm going wrap around base. You've forgotten. Wait, wait, wait. You put that to that. You match that to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you sew from here to here. And then you sew the other one on here to here. And then you join up the sides. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm showing the girls how to go around the corner. I, okay, all right. Well, I do want to show the girls how... Do you want me to use this pack of, that I've got sitting here? Or well, here, here I've got, so, there's some on the top of that bag for you. I put them there. Special. Oh, look. Here's some I prepared earlier. I need to show them how it works around the corner though. They have to, I have to. It's my duty. What? That's how I do the other one. I know, I know, but I need to show them going you're not getting it. I need to show them why it works and why it's called a wrap round. I'm not actually gonna sew it. Okay. Oh you just I thought you would about that to sew it. That light's flickering again. I'm anger we did say no swearing. Anger management. I haven't charged it for long enough. That's alright. I'm glad I picked that up now. Okay. So, these clips. I need to find the middle. It's marked for you. Here's one I prepared earlier with a mark. <laughs> so, is the other one... Oh, good yeah. grief. Alright, so you need to find the middle of your base and you need to find the middle of your base of your panel as well. Okay, on one side. So M's marked these ready for me. Um, we love we love our wonder clips now for a lot of this work, and particularly if you're using something like the cork or oops or vinyl, you don't want to be necessarily putting little pinholes in it. Some things don't have a memory. Emma, did you see that curtain in the lounge room and the when the, the sun shines through it? You oh, can. Does it have a little, um, <laughs> Yeah, it does. Don't go there. Alright, so you're going to pin that on, clip it on, and then when you get to this corner, you're going to stop. I still need to stop at the quarter inch point here and here because you want this to be able to pivot around the corner, okay? It's got to be able to go around. We'll come back and actually clip into this seam. So I've got the machine set up, ready to go. Carol Newton's here. Hello, Carol. I hope you all got this. Watch it back later and do one of your own um, with different dimensions so that you, you make sure you understand how it all works. That's, and there is... That's what I did. That one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to do it, but I needed okay. to show them. Cool. So, um, the other, the pattern that is, which I told you about last week, the, the Melba tote, that's a free download on the website. That is the same technique uh, as well. So you can grab that and have a look. And there is a, one of our last year's craft and cook shows has got it there for you as well. But it doesn't have Emma doing embroidery on it, does it? No, I've never done craft and hook. No, you haven't. But you know, there'll be a first time for everything. Okay. I'll pop those over there because I can come back and finish that later. Now, on my machine... Uh, if you are a banana girl. Heavens, I just got a foot cramp. <laughs> you try so set down. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I think I'll sit.
We get coffee when you come on, right? Is that the, is that the plan? It's 3 o'clock in time. Okay. Yeah. So I've got my quarter inch foot on and I've got my dual feed engaged. So if you've got a banana or a dual fill machine, you are going to want that on. If you don't dual feed, you will want your um, walking foot on. Oh, I did everything. I did everything except tell my machine which foot I had put on. So I'll just do that. So these machines love to know which foot you've got on. Um, because then it just adapts everything to that particular foot. I had a chat with uh, Nathan, and I'm going to put, sort of put my Benina dealership on hold. On the at the end of March so I've still got some things on back order I've still stitch plates on the never never for you and and things so they will come through irrespective of when um, we're on hold um, next week I have uh, some, some panic consultations in people's houses that want to buy their machine from from me so um, I'll be out and about doing that so if you if you are sort of thinking about it, um, I look after everyone whether I'm a dealer or not. But if you did want to get your machine from Chandler's Cottage, we've got to the end of the month. Now, I'm cool doing this with my dual feed because uh, there is no piecing or anything going on. I'm, I'm not, you know, there's not a lot of movement. But if I did have more than this going on, I would definitely put my walking foot on or if I didn't have my dual feed machine. There was a lot of debate this morning about dual feed on one of the Facebook pages. And it's really interesting. People are still, still kind of don't get the whole difference between dual feed and a walking foot. All right, so that's on. And you can see that I have stopped a quarter inch from the end. So what will happen with this is I'll piece the other one and put it on the other side. And then you can actually bring both these sides, each of the sides together, and you will sew straight up. So if you go back and have a look at this one, you can see here that we've sewn on both panels, front and back, and then we've been able to piece, sew straight up the side, and then you'll have this little hole left across here at the bottom, and you actually then sew across that. So I'm going to um, just piece this other one while I'm here with you so it's together and then I can go off and put the backing on this while Em's just taking you through handles. Again, we're not rushing her because she's making coffee now. Heard you heard that. Heard that you first. We're actually a bit smug today, aren't we? Because we know what we're doing next week. <laughs> oh, if it is Tuesday, we That's don't cool. know. Well, and the girls know what's happening with Rob. So Rob, Rob may be having a little, a little bit of a day, a day outing. A day in. A day in. A day spa? No. Would that be rude? No, no, no day spa. No day spa. Next Tuesday. So we're just waiting to find out. Um, it, because elect, it was kind of judged as electric surgery. Pick that one out. But, um, uh, yeah, so he might be, we might be a bit busy next Tuesday. and Or we could, I might just do it in the evening. But we're planning at the moment for Tuesday. All right, so I've pieced that together. Only because M's here on a Tuesday. You could come off to work one night, Em. <laughs> oh, dead air. Dead air from the office. All right, that's together. I'm going... She's still not saying anything. I'm going to... Um, are you right? Me? Yeah. Oh, I'll swap. So I'll go and pop some backing on this one, and then I can bring it back, put it on the other side, and show you. And Emma's going to show you how these handles work. I thought you weren't talking to me because I made a suggestion and you went really quiet. I was probably in the kitchen. <laughs> it was too far away. Shall I tell her what I said? I probably what should. What did you say? 
Would you like me to fix that? Uh, Sharon would like white with... No, you're on. I'm doing that. Sharon would like white with one, please. <laughs> you lot are mad. You're, you're up. Okay, let me just put some water in my mouth. Well, I'll drink that coffee. You drink the one coming out now. Okay. Listen, Carol said... She's placing her coffee order too? No, uh, a bit late at the doctor's waiting room. So can't stay. Right. Long wait. You, so you're not like my doctor. I rock up for David Donut half an hour late and I'm still there another half an hour. But when you get in there, he's all yours. I just don't like seeing my GP arrive after the appointment time of my time. Oh, work. that's what Robin for, yes. That's what Robin used to do. Benny used to do for a nine o'clock appointment. She'd walk in the door at quarter past nine, saying, yep. oh, "I've been out on house visits." I don't believe that. Who have I missed? Rude. Because we're being, I'm being extremely silly today. I think it's dehydration. Eric is here. Hello, Hazel. How are you? Hello, Zan. Oh, my goodness. The team's in. Oh, there's people here that I'm going to be sensible now. Serious. Right. Because Zan, I don't think Zan's watched before. Okay. Short for Susanna. We have a Zan. Shirley's here too. I know Pam Harvey. All right, I'm off. I'll be back. Have a great day. I don't, I think, I think she's gone. Do you want to show the girls what you just cut, though? And tell them I'll, I'll get it up oh, I brought one out for you. Oh, where'd I go? It was just over there. Just, just on that camera. You ready? Ready, ready, ready. Which one? I don't know. I can't see the numbers today. Three. Oh, look. No. Oi. Confusing me. This is our new dark gold pack. Oh, it looks like we even go to, um, you know, old gold chocolate. It is old gold chocolate at the top. That's that paisley. It's a bit, deli a bit delicious. Four okay. doesn't work. You've got one and three. Okay. I'll believe you. Four doesn't work. Four's the overhead. Okay. Because I didn't charge it, it's blinking. Okay. Nice glasses then. All right. Now oh. you're in front now. Okay. And you can so change it when you Just like. because I'd like to show you, the Lisa would... I'll go make Sharon's coffee. The wind's just changed. Um, we have got this little... I'm going to have to flick over and I'm the camera's... I'm going, I'm little, going. Stop. Can, uh, you love a little embellishment across the top here. It's just running stitch, only you can't see that there is actually a running stitch along here to a little lazy daisy running stitch, and it's raining, and a navy daisy and a running stitch. Just in that lovely pearl cotton that Lisa showed you. Quick demo of what I did. Do you need anything? It's a little bit fun, Rich. Because now, apparently you can see if you put your glasses on, so, but you can't pick up the needle if you've got fingernails on. So, I'm going to try here to show you my little running stitch. All I did was, with a little chalk pen, drew a curvy line and I put an X so that I remembered to stop. And I did sheet, I'm not one for doing knots when I embroider, but I did just do a little, two wraps, knot, and then just easy peasy running stitch, just like quilting really, but it was a bit bigger. The, I have got a little bit of whisper wear on the back of that suede fabric, and it made doing the handles nice and easy because it's kind of got a bit of stretch in it and it just stabilised the give. And then I'm not used to showing my work to not myself. And going through to the back, ready to do my lazy daisy stitch and I'll probably run out of thread, knowing my luck. Coming from the back to the front and a lazy daisy. So I've got the th needle coming, going back in where I came out with the loop wrapped around the needle, just loosely, pull it up snug, not tight, and then anchor it down. And the acoustics are probably going to change now because it started raining on the flat roof. So I hope you can still hear over the lovely sound of the rain. Now, the trick that I learnt for getting your five petals of a daisy or your five knots of a little forget-me-not 
in a nice placement is to look at your petals as the first three as a Y. So the first one is the bottom stick and then the top two are the arms of the Y. So I'm just going to face it to myself so I can see where I'm going. Wrapping my loop, I am going to run out of thread and we'll be just finishing it off after this second petal. Wrap my loop around my needle, snug, not tight. Oh, listen to that lovely rain. Lovely for us in Melbourne, but not so lovely for so many of you. That is actually really, really heavy rain now, and Lisa's just run off in panic. Doors shutting. So the other way to think of your petals, getting the first three in place, think of it as an iris, a bearded iris, and the falls. So you have the main standard flower, and then the falls that come down either side. And I bet this time I run out of thread. I know why Lisa asked me to embroider. She wanted to sh you to see my ridiculous but fun fingernails from my bee themed parte. Not quite unthreaded. I hope you can see, girls. So there's my first three stitches and then I could I won't have enough thread to anchor it to um, continue with the other two but you put the fourth and fifth petals I've got to get my it's raining it's really really raining okay I can't quite see that far away at least um, how's our my, my picture pretty good so you put the fourth and fifth petals in that gap Just hold so it a bit straight bit straighter. So you can see how it looks like a Y. Oh no, you see yeah, that, that, way, way. Yeah, that way. way? You can see how I've got my first three petals looking like a Y and then you put the fourth and fifth in as little extra legs. You might need to talk up a bit. Hello Ricky! I did say the crystals um, would change. Hey, Shane's telling me you're being too loud in the background. You were on the phone in the loud. I was loud because Laurie, it was Laurie. It was Laurie. Laurie sounds like Laurie from South Australia. Oh, hello, Laurie. Laurie Star? Something like that. Yeah. Good job. Is that my coffee? Yeah, cheers. Yes, I probably was too loud in the background because I'm usually going shh for everyone else in the background. Yeah, well, there's that. So, with my handles, I've used Lisa's four-fold technique. So, if I bring... Can I get the credit for The four-fold technique, <laughs> yes. So it's a lovely, because it's suede and I've got four layers, you can see there there's the two, it's actually quite a comfortable handle. And just because Lisa talked to you about how we're using up the increments that we can cut this fabric in, or that we're selling this fabric in, so we had our 30 centimetre cut and it left a little bit. Did Lisa show you how much, this, this is what was left over after cutting this bag out little bits and there's one longer piece so you could still use that on another trim for another bag so don't lose that one that's my one that I want to use so I had enough to be able to cut two one inch strips so I've made one six inch cut all the way along the width of fabric on the suede fabric and I applied a six inch cut of whisperweb to the back to stabilize it which is the same technique as the embroidery and then before I actually top stitched it or in order to top stitch it I laid the cord cork cork even on the top a quarter inch from each side so my my six inches become three inches become an inch and a half and I have one inch of cork, so I need an, a quarter inch so showing on either side of the cork, and then I sewed it at an eighth of an inch. And if I can, if I can drive right. So what's going on here today, ladies? 
you want to know what I just did? And I'm just going to lengthen my stitch length out to a three millimetre. Because we're going through something quite thick. Did you stick it to the iron? What did you do? No, I'll put it on upside down. <laughs> I was talking to Laurie at the same time. Right. There's that. What the, what the, what the girls need to understand, maybe. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, oh, I'm interrupting. Hello, G. <laughs> did the, did the fire, it's actually rain, not fire at all. Oh, just because this thinning doesn't want you. Anyway. Under my feet while I'm sewing, you might make me a fry. I must admit, I wasn't, the machine wasn't this high when I was sewing before. So I've just I've just used the toes on the the banana foot. It has like an eighth of an inch little cut in. So the toe well the toe of the foot is cut in half. So you can see where your quarter inch is and where your eighth of an inch is. And also the fabulous handy markings on the side for working out when to start and when to stop, when Lisa's patterns ask you to start a quarter inch in from the raw edge, that's the mark at the back. Listen to you. Oh, I You're love You're going to miss selling inch. bananas too. Yep. It's only, it's only for a short time, we hope. Yep. It's, I've explained to the girls, it's just because uh, we don't have a bricks and mortar store. Yep. Otherwise, we're still pretty damn good at selling bananas, aren't we? We, we don't need to. It just happens. No one's actually asked me about not using a walking foot with these five layers of fabric either. No. But that's because no, I'm not reading coming. the comments. But you no. know what? I like the versatility of the quarter inch foot. And I did try first and there was virtually no shifting. It did, the handle did end up a little bit skewed you, one way. But you, that just meant I sewed one from one end to the opposite. And then again, I stitched on from the opposite end to basically force it back. Now, into the shirt. Yeah. now in defence, you wouldn't be able to do that on a 9mm machine without a dual feed though. The dual feed is what is holding you in control. Yes. But I did it on a, not a 9mm, I did it on a 5 oh, seven. Four. Yeah, 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 but you need the dual. Oh, yeah. true. See what I, where are we? Can you see what I mean if I lay it down here? Oh. You can see on the board Heavens. that it is not straight. But I sewed from this end to that. Now right. in order to bring it back and straighten it up, so from the opposite end, so it has the opposite pull. Really? I think I just told you the wrong ends, but... Do you want me to tell you here, even though ends. they're not talking to us, I can see. I they told don't you have to talk, Carol, they might be busy sewing. They Carol, those nails of Emma's she did for her B birthday party. Because I had a B50. Everything was B. We even I got a bee to take home. Oh, I even got my earrings on again, my honeycomb We had bee cupcakes. We had um, bee melting moments, complete with wings. Complete with wings. And what else did I do? We had flowers on the table that had bees on them. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. They were very pretty, weren't they? they I did were like them. The cute little posies. So Ricky Main's here. You remember Rick? You remember Rick? Way back at the shop. Rick's a hoot. Julie. Sorry, that I meant that in the nicest possible way. Now now can we we're still on that. Now we can see that our handle is much straighter. Because I went back the opposite way. Look at that. Happy. I'm happy. Heavens! Okay, Queensland sent the rain. Because yeah, it's, it's big drops now. It is like really big drops. It sounds like someone's pelting the roof. Oh my car's out in it today. Kathy has to go now and have Afternoon tea with her twins for their 12th birthday. Oh, oh. I hope someone makes a fun cake. Is there any in case drum? <laughs> I would think so, it's not far away. So it's pouring rain everywhere, local. We, we, uh, and this is, you know, in, in complete sensitivity to our mates in, uh, I'm not putting camera back here for now, our That's mates right. in Queensland. Our friends uh, in Queensland. Our friends in Queensland. 
we needed rain. Oh, yeah. Not necessarily this stuff, but we needed, you know, I don't like this stuff because this stuff floods my back garden. This stuff moves all of your topsoil and your mulch from behind the porch. Well, it actually takes the road to the and puts fence. it in my backyard. And then puts it in my back neighbor's backyard. Which is not pleasant. I know what I need to do because it's raining. Water I'll leave you with it. I'll leave you with it. Are you right? You're on the main camera at the moment. Where do you want it? Do you want it back? I'm finding it difficult to uh, match up my um, handle links. It's my, my difficulty at the moment. Because I cut it to apply it so you could show it. <laughs> you show it. You're on the main camera. I've just realised what I need to get. A bigger bucket? Nah. I was out cutting before and I said to Lisa, there's, there's an unusual sound from outside somewhere. I can't work out what it is. She said, uh, yes, that's the collection of rainwater coming from the gutters that, uh, let's just say they're invisible in some places because there is a lot of uh, rust and you can see right through to the sky. I think she's opened a door and it just sounds like a deluge outside. And I did baste the handles on because there is nothing worse than getting all the way around your bag when you've sewn your lining in, only to discover you missed a bit. And I'm trimming off the selvage on the opposite end. Which okay. I got what I needed. What did you have to get? The snail pellets. Yes. So I don't forget. Because Bloody. after no rain. Oh, yes, the snails will be like, hey, this it's place a party. here, they climb up the windows. It's quite gross. Sarah used to race them up the windows when we would be gardening. Ooh. So, um, the next child, no. Michelle, veggie patch, go. That's going to be straight after the show. Okay. You're going so, down now. No, I'm just basting the handles on so we can see how they look. Okay. Is that alright? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and press a foot so much further away. Well, why you do that? <laughs> I'm just jumping um, all over the place. You right? Yep. Now that Marble's out of the way, uh, tomorrow is, uh, I'll be uh, live tomorrow morning. On the applique sample Facebook page, Ooh. ten o'clock. So I'll put a little post up there. So if you are in the Channels College applique sample group, I'll do a live on there. It will stay on there, and then I will get cast, take it, and repost it onto a quilter slide, so that for those that don't do Facebook, they wouldn't be watching now if they didn't. <laughs> Does it make sense? <laughs> then it will go up don't know onto you know. uh, quilter slide, so it's easy for you to find under that category. Um, and tomorrow we'll be just covering off ruching if any of you are still, um, just, you know, looking at that ruched waratah and going, what? Mm -hmm. And I'll also be uh, showing you the, the head for the banksia that's coming out. Now, a few of the girls will be going, where's my, where's my block? Um, em knows we had to wait for enough orange for the sashing and then I had to wait for the green batik for the kangaroo paw. So I'm in the process of doing the kangaroo paw at the moment. Uh, and, and then I thought, well, it's silly really to make the whole thing up. If I'm running this late, I might as well show you, show them the process as I go. So that's tomorrow. So banks here and sashing. I'm going to do a demo on the sashing so that when your pack comes out uh, this week. Oh, that was the fun stuff I had piecing last week. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Uh, MC, and them all sitting on the dining table. Yes. They're all sitting there in waiting. The little bags. Uh, you'll see that we've started processing because there's, it's it's a manual process for the girls out in February, so that takes us about five hours. So some were done yesterday and some are being done today. And um, so we'll do that, and then I'm coming back here on Thursday night. We're back to a few blues and a little bit of twirl. Sing and stuff. Blues. Yeah, sing in the blues. And that's us for today now, isn't it? We're done. It is. I was just going to pin this one on oh, if I had it with me. That was Laurie's fault. I just wanted to pin this one on. Can you set up the random thingy on your phone for me? Oh, random number generator? Random yes. number generator. Let because me go and find my phone back out because there. Because I can't. That hair is just... It didn't... I've lost the knack. 
So wait, 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 wait. Everyone's talking. So it's not raining yet. Christy, it's not raining down your end yet. Really? Should be now. Um, but it's just stopped again. It's all, it's almost, this humidity brings it out, doesn't it? Almost like a, what do they call it? A microclimate, which is all of Melbourne as far as I'm concerned. But I remember when we had a brief but wonderful holiday in Malaysia. Karen? Between what Karen nights? Karen Carter. Uh, and it would rain 20 metres that way, but then it would rain, I don't know, that was what I was supposed to do. What date? From 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock Thursday, oh, just, uh, when did I go live? 3 o'clock Thursday to midnight Sunday. Friday, Other side on. I just want to show you this so that you can see. So you're actually going to sew this the other side on. And then once that's on, you'll be able to sew up your side seam all the way up here. And then you're left with this little gap at the bottom and you will sew all of that together there. If you can press any of this seam out when you've put your bag together, particularly with your lining, you're going to get a nicer finish. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, do they need to do their lining pieces smaller than um, the outside of the bag? Nothing, when you're up at this size, it, you don't need to. Even our little uh, drawstring treasure purses, sip and sews and things, we never used to worry about doing that. It's only when you get down to really, really small things where your circumference is notably smaller because you've got the thick bashing on that you need to change it around. What M and I love is this effect. So if we use the soft and stable batting, or the rubber foam batting as we've called it on the website, um, I think it's all under Matilda's own now, but we love this because uh, it sits up. So rather than fight to push the seam allowance down once the bag is finished, which, if, look, if we were going to press it down, you got to top stitch it because the memory foam has absolutely no memory and it just bounces back up. So if you want to get a really neat finish, you've got to top stitch it. But we love this. So we actually let the lining sit up so that you've got this little rim around the top. And it looks like you've done it on purpose or you've actually bound it. And in doing that, if there was any difference in the circumference from inside to outside that picks all of that up and the base sits really nicely inside. So that's what we do with that. So, how'd you go, Em? You know the technical difficulties we were having earlier? Oh, we can't do it. Um, we might need to. Let me see what I can do it on my phone without cutting the girls off. My poor little phone is hot. It will be. Hot, hot, hot. hot because it's running, so this little phone here is running all of our internet and everything um, because we have, we don't have any, we don't have any um, NBN do we? Because if that one's down as well. I think the router's decided to um, kaput. So what numbers, M? Sorry, I didn't get any numbers. I've got the random number generator, but I can't get the order numbers. Okay, we will hold it over and we will pull them down and I'll tell the girls on Thursday night. How's that? Okay. Because uh, we need Rob to come home and fix all of that up. Um, and what shall we do? What are we doing for our next one? What do you mean? For our next prize. Because we're doing two for this week, so I'll have to do these once we can get internet back up and find the numbers and do that for you, I'm so sorry. So I'm giving away two of these mm -hmm. that were from Thursday afternoon through to midnight Sunday, mm -hmm. and then we'll run a new one from... This afternoon? Two o'clock this afternoon. Two o'clock, not whenever I went live. <laughs> through to, um, you know what, I'm gonna make it a short one. Well, um, Thursday to Sunday was four days. So I'm going live at eight o'clock on Thursday night, so till eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Smack on. Yep. 
7 59 mm -hmm. okay so from two o'clock today to 7 59 p.m on thursday uh you know what i'm gonna do because i can because i'm the boss i'm gonna do yes. one of these fresh fresh one of the new ones mint condition never been opened it hasn't even got its sticker on yet have you can you find that bolt with this paste <laughs> Well, can you find me the bolt of the paisley? Because I just want to show the girls. All right, so we'll do that. Now, because I'm doing applique sampler tomorrow and quilter's life, and it is finally hit this window of a day to do everything, I am going to tell you right now, if you order anything today, I will not be filling it until Thursday. So what I want you to do for me, if you do decide to order something, if you must, must have it, and you don't want to wait until the Thursday night show, Please put in the comments down the bottom, send now. And I appreciate that, that you might want it straight away. You didn't know you needed it till today. Thanks. I can't find <laughs> um, Just put that there. But if not, and you order Thursday night, then I will do what we usually do and I'll combine orders for you. So that you can save a bit on postage and I refund it. And I know how to do that now, even though Stephen's not here. I'll probably regret it. it will was, I regret it? You probably will. It was hiding between a joy oh, and a shell. Oh, thank you. So this is this is one of the this is the fabric that's inspired the new pack. You that's the gold, say. the the old so gold chocolate. That's the darkest one. So I'll pop these up online as soon as um I can this afternoon. They will go up and I'll have them back on. Look at that. Gee, it's good, isn't it? Mm. I really like them. So if you put this with the other pack, which goes all the way through to cream with gold dots, yum yum. Okay, so we'll have these prizes announced that have finished. We'll do one of the new gold ones up until 7.59 on Thursday night. Applique sample girls, I'll see you in the morning at 10 a.m. or I'll load it up onto a quilter's life later. Have a great afternoon. And if I was going to say anything, it would be um, stay dry. That would be my main thing to say. And again, to all of our friends in Queensland and northern New South Wales, stay safe, please, and stay dry and look after yourselves. Um, pack the fabric first. If you need to evacuate, leave the pantry, okay? We can always get more food, but don't leave the fabric behind. No, I'm only messing with you. All right. Um, yes, I will see you tomorrow, or I will see you Thursday evening. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Bye. See you later. Bye. Um, can you just...